Hey, it's John here from John Stool Runs. Yes, I'm still running, just. Um, yesterday, I did a Garmin Daily Suggested Workout that was an anaerobic capacity workout. Its uh, goal is to help raise your anaerobic threshold. It was a 50 minute run with seven by one minute, aiming for four minutes and 15 seconds per kilometer, with three minute recoveries at a pulse rate of 127 beats per minute, which represents my base pace heart rate. So how did that run go? Well, uh, let's go to yesterday so you can see how I went and then I'll get back to you. Just did my first one minute rep and it went quite well. Three minutes of jogging now and I'll do another six and we'll wrap it up with a summary. Whew. Well, that completes seven by one minute tempo intervals aiming for 415 minute per kilometer pace. And I think I achieved that. I'm pretty sure I did. I'll put the results up there. So the recoveries were uh, heart rate based. And so I, um, that was probably a bit high, but don't forget that the heart rate response is delayed. So even though those heart rates may be a little high, then it's because there's a delay. Plus I think I was not recovering easy enough. Uh, also, the one minute intervals, I did cheat a little bit because I did it on this section of road, which is sl slightly downhill. You know, the sort of downhill that you don't really feel it when you're going downhill, but when you go the other way, yeah, I'm going uphill. A bit like the wind, isn't it? going with the wind and against the wind. Well, as I said, I really enjoyed that run. Um, yes, it's funny as you run down a hill, you don't notice it as much as when you're running up a hill. It's like running into the wind. You really notice it, but when you run with the wind, what wind? So yesterday's run, the anaerobic capacity workout, it's the second highest or second fastest of the Garmin Daily Suggested Workouts. When I first looked at the, the run, I thought, oh, those four minute 15, that's gonna be too quick for me. But as it turned out, it was okay. But what I tried to do was I tried to change the target type. Instead of um, pace, I thought, oh, maybe I could switch it to heart rate. Um, and that might be a little bit more feasible. As it turned out, I was able to achieve, in fact, better than I expected. But it turns out you can't change for those faster runs from pace to heart rate. You can on recovery workouts, base workouts, tempo workouts. Uh, but once you get up to anaerobic uh, capacity workouts, it limits you to pace. And that's probably not a bad thing as long as you're uninjured. And it turns out that I'm pretty good at the moment as far as my hamstring is concerned. I was able to do that for 15. In fact, I think it was four fives or something like that that I put up yesterday. So in a nutshell, the anaerobic capacity workout for Garmin Daily Suggested Workouts doesn't come up too often. It potentially is a run that could hurt you if you're not prepared for it, not warmed up for it, but it has a 15 minute warm up 
and of course you should be doing some dynamic stretches beforehand. Uh, does, it goes a long way to helping prevent injuries as well as being sensible, which I'm not always, but try to be. So all for now, and we will catch up with you in the next video.